Hello, so this is A Level Mathematics and we will be continuing with the mechanics section and this will be part 2 of mechanics. So we will be starting with kinematics. I have already done part 1, now it's part 2. The first concept that you must know, which is the most important concept, is that we have three things, displacement, velocity and acceleration. When we differentiate displacement, we get velocity. When we differentiate velocity, we get acceleration. And when we move backwards, we integrate acceleration, we get velocity. And when we integrate velocity, we get displacement. That's all. The integration is with respect to time. And the differentiation is also with respect to time. If we have an expression s equals 60 cube minus 70 squared plus 12, if we differentiate it, it be, uh, gives the velocity which is 18 t square minus 14 and if we integrate the velocity or uh, differentiate the velocity dv by dt would give us 36 t minus 14 which is the acceleration and if we do the reverse process uh, integrating the acceleration would give us the velocity and integrating the velocity would give us the distance now let's discuss some important terminologies uh, related to kinematics in questions. Now bear in mind that whenever in a question it says instantaneous rest or turning point that implies that velocity is zero. Whenever it says the maximum displacement it implies velocity is zero. Whenever it says maximum velocity it means acceleration is zero and whenever it says with some acceleration it means dA over dt rate of change of acceleration is zero. Now let's discuss a question the question says uh, a particle travels from A to B. The velocity expression is given as V equals 0.009 t square minus 0.0001 t cube. The velocity of the particle at B is 0. Part 1 says that find the time taken to travel from A to B. Part 2 says find the distance AP. And part 3 says the maximum velocity of the particle. So let's start with the first part. and we will find the time taken to travel from A to B. What we can do for part 1 is that we can use the fact that the velocity of the particle at B is 0. So we can put the value of velocity to be 0 and find the time T which will be for the whole journey from A to B. So putting the value of V 0 in the expression will give me T is equal to 0 seconds and T is equal to 0.009 divided by 0 0.0001 which will be 90 seconds so uh, the particle starts from 0 and the particle ends at t is equal to 90 seconds so this is our answer to part 1 in the second part it says find the distance eb we have already learned that the integral of velocity is distance or displacement so the distance eb would be the integral of velocity v dt and the time bound would be from 0 to 90 as we have already found that the time travel from a to b is 90 seconds so 0 to 90 seconds so we will solve this integral i have plugged in the value of uh, limits and the velocity expression in the second part i have integrated this expression this becomes t cube by 3 and this becomes t rep of 4 by 4 now I will plug in the values of 90 and 0. Now I have plugged in the values of 90, 0 0.009 into 90 cube by 3 minus 0 0.0001 90 to the power 4 uh, divided by 4. Minus, I have plugged in the values of 0 in, in uh, place of zero, uh, t, so this is our next step. So putting this into the calculator, we will get the, our answer. The distance AB is 546.75 meters. Now part 3 says find the maximum velocity of the particle. So this implies that the acceleration is 0. So what we can do is uh, from the velocity expression, we can differentiate it and put it equals to 0. From there we can find the velocity. Now what we will be doing is taking the derivative of uh, velocity which, which would give us acceleration and solving it up. So I have, did, uh, take, I have 
taken the derivative 0 0.018t minus 0 0.003t square and put it equal to 0. So this is our uh, next step. So the value of t for which the acceleration is 0 is 60 seconds. Now what we'll, we will do is put the 60 into our velocity expression and find the maximum velocity. So what we have done is plugged in the value of 60 into the velocity expression and we have attained our maximum velocity to be 10.8 meters per second. So now we will be discussing another variant of the question that is regarding the split journey that is that there are two portions of in which our journey is uh, divided. Um, so uh, one of the journey, let's suppose, is velocity is given as 3t square minus sine t and for the next half the velocity is b over t cube. Now let's discuss some important things regarding such question. The first important thing is at boundary time the displacement remains same in both equations. Velocity is same from both expressions. The acceleration may or may not be the same. Now we are being asked to find the value of b. What now what we can do is we can equate both the velocities as we have seen that velocity is same from both expressions at boundary time. Put t is equal to 15. 3 is 15 square minus sine of 15 equals b over 15 q. And find the value of b which is b equals 1822500. So that's it. Um, thank you. Do subscribe and like my channel. Um, I will upload an other video uh, that would be the last part on kinematics uh, in the next week. Thank you.